Whitley Hypoxia Stations create physiologically relevant conditions within a controlled and sustained hypoxic environment. They are ideal for cell and tissue culture researchers wanting to accurately control oxygen, carbon dioxide, temperature and humidity. We are confident there is a hypoxia station within our range to suit your application. So one of the things that I actually um, find very useful about the environment is that it's, it's um, and the workstation, is that it's actually uh, big enough to be able to stay in there, keep your cells growing in there all the time, subculturing them as you need to, but also I do my experiments in there. So I treat them with inflammatory stimuli and so on, and I measure the gut permeability using special equipment that I actually take in um, through the side door so that I can actually do experiments inside the environment. So at all times, the cells are kept at the environment that they would normally expect to be grown in and I think that's really important to produce results then that are going to be more relevant and more useful to other researchers who work in gut inflammation. Hypoxia stations allow the control of oxygen and carbon dioxide concentration in 0.1% increments. The sophisticated control mechanisms used in hypoxia stations allow the selected gas mixture to be rapidly and accurately attained and adjusted. The hypoxia workstation allows us to um, generate oxygen levels that reflect the in vivo physiology that these cells would be exposed to. Users can adjust temperature and humidity to precise levels, offering further control over the chamber environment. Pin code controlled access levels protect user adjustable parameters. The automatic humidification system adds sterile water vapour to increase humidity. This system is unique to Whitley Hypoxy stations. Internal hypoxy station conditions are monitored with an oxygen sensor that is located within the chamber area, providing real-time feedback and a quick response to maintain the desired physiological conditions. Daily gas usage is also monitored and recorded. The patented oval sleeved ports allow greater freedom of movement and operator comfort for those wanting to use the system for extended periods of time. Entry and exit from the workstation is simplified by the use of hinged port doors that are easily secured to form a gas tight seal. Some hypoxia stations have a 12-litre airlock that will complete a cycle in 60 seconds, ensuring optimised conditions and gas economy. Other hypoxia stations have a 30-litre airlock that enables a greater capacity of samples to be transferred into a hypoxic environment with variable airlock cycles that can be selected to match the O2 levels inside the workstation, ensuring optimised conditions and gas economy. HEPA filtration reduces the particle counts inside the chamber to levels exceeding the requirements of ISO 14644 Class 3. The entire hypoxy station atmosphere passes through the filter hundreds of times an hour, which ensures the chamber environment is cleaned quickly. The filter location inside the hypoxy station prevents it becoming saturated with moisture. Letterbox entry systems are also available, providing a straightforward way to quickly introduce individual items into the hypoxy station. Oxygen profiling allows users to pre-program a sequence of oxygen levels and durations, which may be used for a number of applications, such as simulating a hypoxic ischemic event or preconditioning cells prior to implantation. Oxygen sensing is in real time with no delay, as the sensor is inside the chamber and oxygen levels are changed quickly to maintain the desired environment. 
For a lot of our work, we actually want to induce periods of ischemia or low oxygen levels, and that's why we chose the oxygen profiling um, system that goes with the H35, which allows us to pulsate or allow like a periodic low oxygen level of about one to three percent that would actually mirror hypoxia or, or ischemia that would happen within the cardiac uh, muscle. And then we can obviously see how our spheroids or cells respond during that short period periodic um, exposure to the low oxygen. The hypoxia station records parameters such as temperature, humidity, oxygen and CO2 levels. Recorded data can be viewed on the hypoxia station touchscreen or downloaded in a few seconds via the USB interface or via an Ethernet connection. The hypoxia station also allows data to be monitored remotely with alerts that can be sent direct to the user. The option of a removable front provides the ability to deep clean the interior of the hypoxia station. The front can be easily removed in seconds and provides the capacity to place instruments such as microscopes and plate readers into the chamber. Hypoxia stations can be fitted with an internal power socket and a variety of cable glands can also be specified. Whitley hypoxia stations are available in a number of different sizes to suit a range of applications. An ideal solution for Seahorse Analyzer users is to purchase a hypoxia station along with the Whitley I2 instrument workstation. These can be connected, enabling preparation of cell lines under hypoxic conditions and their transfer directly into the I2 without exposure to air. With a dedicated team of Don Whitley Scientific Service Engineers and factory trained distributors around the world, we can ensure you will always be satisfied with the performance of your hypoxy station. Thank you for your interest in the Whitley Hypoxy Stations. For more information, please contact us.